This mysterious island is so dangerous that Brazil has deemed it illegal for anyone to visit. Infested with thousands of the deadliest snakes in the world, Ilha da Quimada, also known as Snake Island, is truly something that nightmares are made of. Here are 11 terrifying facts about Snake Island. Eleven. There are between one to six snakes every three feet. The danger looms in the form of the golden lacehead snake. This species of pit viper is among one of the deadliest serpents in the world. Researchers have determined that an estimated 2,000 to 4,000 golden lacehead vipers roam Snake Island, which means that somewhere on this earth there are an isolated 430,000 square meters of land infested with snakes. The landmass is actually named Ilha da Quimada Grande, which roughly translates in Portuguese to Slash and Burn or Big Burn Island. Quimada Grande is teeming with these surly serpents, so much so there are approximately one to six snakes for every meter. Never more than three feet away from death, scientists determine that the snake population is growing to such an extent that you can't walk one step without running into yet another predator. Luckily, the venom-packed pillagers are secluded on the island, and they can't swim. Thank goodness, because their cousins are all known to be very fond of water. So, how did they get here? Theory has it that over 11,000 years ago, as glaciers pervading the planet from a long ice age began to melt, so rose sea levels high enough to isolate Ilha da Quimada Grande from the mainland of Brazil. Subsequently, the species of snake was trapped on the island to evolve into what they have become today. One other species of snake inhabits Snake Island. While the lancehead viper is certainly the most dangerous and has the greatest numbers, the other group is a harmless bunch that trolls the trees and feeds off bugs. Dipsas abifrons, they're called, or Sauvage's snail eater, which is a non-venomous class who frequent the rainforest and feast off slugs. Both varieties can grow over half a metre in length, so while they may not be the longest snake in existence, surpassed by their cobra cousins, the vast number of them means ten snakes together equal ten metres. Which is more horrifying, one really big python, or thousands of tiny slithering terrorizers? Ten. Pirates are to blame. Another legend involves pirates, as these merciless marauders of the sea can usually be blamed for something. According to one tale, pirates buried their treasure on Ilha da Quimada Grande and, in an attempt to keep it safe, planted the venomous snakes to stand guard. Common sense, however, challenges the theory of such a plan, as well as the likelihood the pirates would be successful in claiming back their loot if the creatures were kept there to protect the prized possessions. What kept the sleazy sailors safe from the serpent's wrath? No one knows, just as no one ever blamed a pirate for being smart. Before we continue, take a minute to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified of new video releases such as this one. 9. They have no predators. Birds are the biggest victims of Snake Island, as they are snatched from the sky in an unfortunate instance of soaring too close to the taunting treetops. The Golden Lancehead Viper's diet consists mainly of birds that stop to rest during long modes of migration. The sneaky serpents hide out in the trees of the rainforest and patiently wait for the birds to venture near. After they strike, the venom has to work first, otherwise birds would merely flutter away to die in solitude and therefore become completely invaluable to their killer. Back when the Avengers first became isolated on the island, food was few and far between. Therefore, evolution had to act fast and equip the beasts with a quick and surefire weapon. Scientists speculate that over time, their venom evolved to become five times more deadly than their land counterparts, except for a few exceptions, such as the inland taipan and black mamba, to name a few. Over time, birds caught on to the impending danger at hand, as many now know to avoid the island and the infestation of fang bottom feeders that line the forest floor. Others, however, aren't so lucky and grow tired from their long transatlantic flights. In time, the snake population grew rapidly, since there were no other known predators to take the species down. With venom that strong, it would take a lot to overcome the golden lancet viper. 
Researchers suggest that if there were any other animals present on the island, there's a good chance they didn't make it off. Humans would be the golden landshead's next predator, except humans aren't allowed there. 8. Venom is our friend? Venom isn't always our enemy. According to recent studies, scientists have determined that the toxins from a golden lancet viper can be used to make medicine. This has perpetuated a growing interest in the species, as tests are showing that the venom can be used for pharmaceutical purposes and are shown promise with ailments such as heart disease, blood circulation and blood clots. Surprisingly, there's a healthy light at the end of this tunnel. That is, except for the one sent to get the venom in the first place. One attack, and chances are slim you'll make your way back. 7. They're endangered Despite their own thriving world, void of predators, the golden lancehead viper is considered an endangered animal by the Brazilian government. Due to this, officials take great strides to protect the waning species and enforce the banishment of humans more than ever. A very venomous creature requires careful protection from the government despite their power to do catastrophic harm with one bite. As far as venom that is used for its healing properties, it sounds like what doesn't kill us can only make us stronger. 6. The island's real name might be worse. The Heavenly Haven would be just that if it weren't for the creepy crawlers which lurked about. The island is a paradise, with its mild temperatures, crystalline sandy beaches, lush rainforests, sparkling cliffs and majestic mountains. While most call it Snake Island, the real name translates roughly from Portuguese to Slash and Burn Fire or Big Burnt Island. As bad luck would have it, the name adheres to its history. So let's pretend there weren't thousands of seething snakes bending from the canopies and writhing across the forest floors. Who in their right mind would urge their travel guide to book a cheery retreat to a place called Slash and Burn Fire Island? The unsettling designation stems from the steps taken to prepare the place for what was once thought to be a potential banana plantation. A thriving fruit metropolis was the dream, one that would grow straight out of the vibrant reaches of rainforest and supply the people of Brazil with delicious fruit the colour of the sun. In order to prepare such a farmstead, one must slash and burn the area to make room for the crops to grow. Unfortunately, this attempt failed, leaving the island with a unique name and an interesting story. Slash Island or Snake Island, no matter how you put it, the place is as daunting as they come. It lives up to its name too, that is, the one that denotes the island as the deadliest in the world. Out of all facts combined, from the deadly inhabitants that lurk there to the high promise of fatality, this secluded island is far too dangerous to travel to. Snakes with some of the most venomous bites in the world that leer within every step you take is enough to keep anyone at bay. Five. Ghosts of the past There was once a family on the island, and the proof is in the luminous lighthouse that still stands proud as it gazes out to sea. Someone had to maintain the operation, and in the early 1900s, a lighthouse keeper and his family did just that. As legend would have it, the family woke one night and ran in terror after snakes began crawling in through their windows. Later, their lifeless bodies were found scattered across the island. Four. Fisherman and his boat Another account of a victim that fell prey to the golden lancehead viper involves the myth of the fisherman and his boat. Legend has it that a fisherman's boat wandered off course before stumbling upon the murky quiet of an unknown island abode. At first, the fearless sailor was counting his lucky stars as he began plucking at the surplus of bananas which grew there. Suddenly, a snake struck from the trees and took the man by surprise. Of course, these details are not really known. But what is certain is that his body was found in a pool of blood not too far from his vessel, with hundreds of snake bites all over his lifeless body. While it's only a story, stories generally start from somewhere, as generations warn generations of Snake Island and its territory better less travelled. 3. The whole island is outlawed There are few exceptions for those allowed to venture onto Snake Island. Anyone who does so is, by law, required to bring a doctor alongside. Scientists have determined that a bite from a golden lancehead viper carries with it a 7% chance of survival, due to the potency of venom alone, and a 3% chance based on the nature of isolation and distance from help. Once bitten, the venom will quickly consume its victim, causing immediate kidney failure, muscle tissue dystrophy, and even repercussions in the brain. 
due to these risks alone, the Brazilian government put a ban against anyone entering its grounds. The only visitors permitted are a handful of scientists each year who study the snakes and the surprising benefits found in their bite. Step one is to acquire permission from the Brazilian Navy itself, who patrol the area and keep a watchful eye out for poachers. Step two is to find a doctor willing to risk his life for science. Rumour just so has it that it is possible to get a local to take one out by boat, and the Navy allows so many a year, especially since the lighthouse is still active and requires regular maintenance. But who would want to travel to a place where a medical chaperone is mandatory? In light of the dangers involved, there isn't exactly a line around the block of locals willing to brave such an adventure. Besides, if Hollywood has taught us anything, it's that the doctor or the guide would most certainly be the first to go. 2. The Black Market Of course, there are those eager to make a pretty penny, Snake Island's seedy treasure trove. When something is rare, there is always someone wanting to get a hold of it. Smugglers have been known to sneak to the island to trap snakes and sell them for a hefty profit on the black market. These beauties can range anywhere from $10,000 to $30,000. Yet, there are many risks involved with going to the island to get them. What's more terrifying is the question of what might happen if a careless poacher were to lose their coveted contraband. The snakes could repopulate in another area, leaving the exclusive Lancet Viper to be the culprit of serious mainland mayhem. 1. Skin-melting venom While the theory maintains that the venom of the golden lancehead viper evolved to kill prey quickly, it's still somewhat of a mystery exactly why and how the creature became so deadly. Especially since they are not too far from their zigzagging brothers on the mainland, what is certain is that the golden lancehead's venom is so potent it is five times more deadly than that of their mainland counterparts save for a few exceptions, as the Lancet Viper isn't the most venomous in the world, though it is one of them. Their venom is so powerful, it has been shown to melt human skin on contact. While the likelihood of survival from this type of snake bite is very good if treated quickly, there aren't any resources on the island to cure such an untimely attack. Once bitten, the victim only has one hour to survive. So whilst other snake bites will grant a human a few days, the venom on the Lancet Viper makes a golden exception. The time is one's own enemy. Besides the snake, that is. An hour doesn't leave much time to get to safety, though it's not impossible, as it would require a very high-powered speedboat to make it back to shore and into a hospital on time. Are the risks worth the thrill? It seems as if melting flesh and the chance of survival at 3% makes Snake Island the perfect plot and setting for the next Hollywood horror film. Would you ever consider visiting Snake Island? Let us know how you would go about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to What Lurks Below for more tantalizing tales and bizarre encounters.